Hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me now? I think now it's better. Okay, thank you. Right, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, I'm Bill. Um, yeah, and I'm quite interested, uh, quite excited to welcome you to our Girl Watch, the new products webinar today. So we will be exploring our latest products in solar energy storage, right, especially for the for the electrical uh, vehicle charging charging um, stuff and um, smart energy management. So yeah, it's an exciting time for the energy sector, especially in the UK. Well, um, the renewable energy is becoming increasing uh, vital. So we hope that today's presentation will help you better understand how our girls is pushing the boundaries of innovation in the space. So yeah, um, let's get started. If you guys got any questions, just type to the question uh, or the comments. I will try to ask you all the questions at the end. Also, we uh, have some FAQ session at the end. So just common questions, I will just be answered. And uh, if someone, um, yeah, because we got the time limited today. So we will try to answer all your questions. So yeah, our, yeah, at our group, Girl Watch, our mission is to build the world's largest intelligent and sustainable energy ecosystem. We are committed to de delivering innovation solutions that makes renewable energy more accessible and affordable for everyone. Our business is built on a foundation of research, development, and manufacturing uh, excellence. We provide solutions, access PV inverters, energy storage systems, and EV chargers, also the energy management system. These products um, work together to form a complete ecosystem, whether it's generating clean energy, um, storing it for later use, or managing it efficiently. So GrowWatts has, um, has the solutions for every customer. Yeah, let's get started with today's first products. Yeah, we have our throw, a smart EV charger range. As um, more people across the UK make the switch to electrical vehicle, having a reliable and intelligent charging solutions, that's a key. So the charger we offer, um, we provide both uh, from AC and DC options and the models designed specifically for the UK market. They come with the per earth connection designs to meet the UK's safety regulation and are available now um, with the due outputs for added convenience. All these charger we provide um, sockets and plugs two options, but it depends on your um, user's requirements. So we got the first single phase seven kilowatt AC charger, which is like 230 volt charging within around like seven hours, depends your vehicle. Third phase 11 to 22 kilowatt, the AC charger, um, that was like uh, 400 volt charging around like two to four hours. So, how to quick set up the charger to Girl Watch server and app? So, one of the standout features uh, of the Thrill Smart EV charger is the flexibility that we, uh, we've been offered. So, wh uh, whether you are charging at home, uh, charging at home or in public, um, these chargers are designed to provide fast, efficient charging with multiple communication options, that's including the LAN, Wi-Fi, and 4G. 
So yeah, basically we we have really put the 4G or the, the Wi-Fi built in. You don't need an extra data log and like the um, hybrid resistance. So instead of it, you will just um, go online and configure by your phone and just scan the, the bar and the QR code, which is on site. It will automatically switch to your um, link to your to your phone, configure by your phone, link to your Wi-Fi or your 4G. And it will upload through the router, go to the cloud and controlled by your channel. So in terms of working modes, we uh, we make sure there's something for every case. So for example, the fast mode, which is now for quick charging when the time um, of the of the essence. Also, it supports multiple control of time mode, um, charging capacity, charging budgets. So for example, a uh, customer could set a start time and charging period and the charger will start to charge the vehicle automatically. You will be able to set a charging budget or charging capacity like, like 10 quid or 10 kilowatt hour and the charger will keep charging the vehicle until it reaches the, reach the setting budget. Well, um, yeah, well, off-grid, off-peak mode, that can help your, you to save the money by charging during the low electricity rates. Uh, it's used for the region, though. Some countries have the, the multiple electricity price. So once enabled the off-peak mode, the EV charger will automatically um, charge the EV. So when it's at off-peak and uh, stop, uh, when it's at uh, off-peak, yeah, and uh, stop charging at peak time to reduce the electricity bills. Well, and if users enable this mode, it requires customer to import all the electricity price manually. Actually, we are working with some um, grid company, and in future will be the same as our battery system. The user can easily set up to off-peak mode, select a um, supplier that will help to charging the car automatically. You don't have to post the yeah to put in the, the electricity price into it. So for those with solar panels, our PV linkage modes uses um, solar power to charge the your EV, maximizing your use of your renewable energy. When the charger has been connected to the system, the power will feed your load first, charge your batteries, and uh, the rest of the PV power, they should supposed to go to the grid, but if your the PV linkage mode is on, as well, go to your charger, not just export it for you. Yeah. Um, last one is the load balancing function. This is designed for users, horses, um, that have the views inside the main, main panel with limited current during front brace. The EV charger can raise the incoming power to the house with an additional CT clamp. Then the EV charger will adjust, adjust its charging power according to limited home power and always charge your car at the maximum charging speed without tripping the power limitation. So yeah, this is this is our global EV charger can support uh, three different ways of charging uh, activation, such as the plug, plug and play. Um, yeah, also the mobile mobile app setting, or even you can just tap up the RFID card. Uh, it has ready in the package. So 
yeah, these um, three ways of charging activation will be available in fast modes and only mobile app for the off of peak and the PV linkage modes. You have to do this um, setting on your phone or maybe on your, on your server. Yep, that's all about our EV charger. So yeah, I believe next one will be the battery ready and the storage system. I believe some of you guys are quite familiar with this, but the reason why I will have to uh, through this system today is because they have more function now. It's more powerful, especially for the mid XH. So yeah, let's turn on um, the attention to the energy storage, yeah, which is quite important in uh, mon uh, the modern energy systems. Yeah. The battery ready solutions, which could be invented in advance as a screening method to low, lower the upfront cost and add the battery system in the future when the customer is affordable or just maybe just need it. The battery is the modular design offer the flexibility and the future proofing. So you can start with what you need today and expand as your energy requirements. So here's the battery ready solutions um, the roadmap. You can see that all these inverters is quite similar, say quite similar, exact same with the size looks the same with the, our screen inverters, main, mode, and mid. But yeah, this is all hybrid now because it has the XH, uh, the battery ports. Um, so we, we got the single phase main XH from 2.5 to 6 kilowatt. Phase inverters we got modes and the mid XH. Now it's available from 3 kilowatt to 10 kilowatt and 11 to 30 kilowatt for the mid for the mid. All these inverters compatible with one high voltage batteries, which is APX. With our APX battery system, you can scale your your storage from 5 kilowatt hour up to 30 kilowatt hour. Making making it ideal for householder with growing energy demands. Yeah, here's an example for the mode 10 kilowatt XH. So this is 10 kilowatt inverters, but you can re um, receive up to 20 kilowatt generation from your peak panels, and 10 kilowatt to your batteries. 10 kilowatt to your loads. But yeah, if you want to uh, achieve 10 kilowatt charge discharge rate when uh, with your inverters and battery, you are require at least four four batteries. And when got got idea why why what's the reason of that? Why I have to get like four batteries to reach the 10 kilowatt? Do you know why? Yeah, so basically the batteries is 0.5C. That means the one battery with five kilowatt hour uh, battery, it can only support 2.5 kilowatt charge and discharge. So um, if we want to achieve 10 kilowatt, that means we have to get 20 kilowatt hour batteries at least. So that can um, support 10 kilowatt to charge or discharge from battery. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, same like the MOD, the mode, the mid has the same. Uh, here's the here's the example for the mid, uh, which is the 30 kilowatt. Um, 
So this inverses can support up to 30 kilowatts. So that means you will have um, 12 batteries in total, which is 60 kilowatt hour batteries, can support 30 kilowatt maximum charge discharge rate. Yeah. So for the mid, same like that. Uh, 60 kilowatt from your panels can uh, put into the inverters 30, 30 kilowatt to your batteries and 30 kilowatt to your to your load. So the, the the one cluster of batteries would only support six batteries, so which is 30 kilowatt. We have to parallel them with two clusters of the battery, which is up to 60 kilowatt. What we need to do is the batteries, uh, the inverters have two battery ports. You, have, you will require two BMS and uh, put it into your power cable to your inverters. And uh, two BMS, between two BMS, you will require a communication cable between them. So what do you need for the surface systems? Uh, yeah. Um, here's everything. Definitely, the inverter is most important. So here's the mode. There's mode. So three to ten kilowatt would be good. And data logger, you can choose the Shine Shine Wi-Fi X or the Shine Link X. And the smart meter. Smart meter is quite important for the export limitation requirements. If you if your local DNO ask for that, please just remember don't forget to install a smart meter on it. As can talk to the inverters, also sets the limitation um, to the export. Also, APX battery, there's only one battery is currently work with mid and mode. So, yeah, um, as well using the different BMS, we'll show this later, um, compared with the single phase. And um, there's an option of your customers want to have the, the backup function or uh, solutions. We provide a backup box, which is called FYN 50-XH-30. That's for the mode. Yeah. You can easily just connect to the inverters, the communication cable to your inverters. And um, on your SYN, you can extend to your backup loads. Same like the modes, <clears throat> all the monitoring devices, small meter, batteries, all the same. As the SYN can be a bit different, it will require the SYN 100, the SH and 30. That's a bigger one of the biggest one for the third phase backup box. But since we got we got the solution for the parallels for mid, we also provide SEMX. This one will replace if you got multiple inverters, for example, like three or two mid XH. Um, you will just have one SEM X to replace your all your monitoring devices, Shine, Shine Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi X or the Link X. You don't need this anymore. And the smart meter has already built in. You don't need to buy anymore. Just one SEM X and do the monitoring and the, uh, limited power. Yeah. The um, batteries, the APX batteries, definitely this is our most um, most powerful batteries in our grow world. So why? Why was that? This battery is from 5 kilowatt hour to 30 kilowatt hour, maximum 15 kilowatt charge discharge rate, uh, power rates for one cluster. If you go two with the mid, only work with mid, um, it can be parallel. Uh, this can be 30 kilowatt. The operation temperature will be minus 10 degree to 50 degree. And the IP66 design, that means you can install outside. Since the new regulation is here, we, um, so many uh, bedrooms, the loft, so you can't really install it because the regulation. But I mean, since we got this kind of batteries now ready, so that's no problem if you install outside. Yeah. The most powerful thing for this battery is we got the optimizer, energy optimizer built inside in, in it. So it can support each packet. Each cell can be fully charged and discharged always. And the new and old batteries can be mixed 
at the same time. Because uh, previously, some batteries, you have to make sure the SOC wouldn't be quite different and uh, the cycle is most important. Yeah, also because you can't really charge or discharge it to 0% and 100% because it will damage the batteries. But now since we got optimizer inside this, it will do self-balancing it. You don't have to think, uh, you, have to, you don't have to worry about that as well. Once you put in the new batteries, even the voltage or the um, cycle of difference, that's no problem. Yeah. Also, because uh, in the UK, the weather sometimes is quite cold, the batteries uh, doesn't work. We add a heater inside this, which can support us even at zero degree, um, the heater will on and automatically switch on and off to the, the normal working, um, working temperature. Yeah, here's everything for the main modes and mates. What's the difference? So single phase, we will apply the different BMS called APX P0. Yeah. Um, the rest of uh, third phase, they all using P2. That's because the batteries for a single phase and third phase, the voltage will be different. Yeah, if you put the wrong BMS on top, the system wouldn't work. So yeah, just be careful with the P0 for single phase, P2 for third phase, mode and mid. And the maximum charge discharge power, it depends, all depends on the inverter. Even the, the batteries can support 15 kilowatt, 30 kilowatt, but if your inverters only support six kilowatt, which is single phase, the maximum, that would be the six kilowatt. The mode is up to 10. So uh, six batteries, only can support 10 kilowatt. But mid, if you have two groups of your batteries, one group can get 15 kilowatt. Totally, two groups can do 30 kilowatt. Yep. Um, looking ahead, our products um, roadmap is filled with exciting innovation. We are constantly working to improve our offerings. And uh, here's MID, the mid hsh inverters are really the prime example for this. So um, this inverter provides full power output for both AC and uh, battery system, offering the maximum flexibility for residential or the commercial users. Whether you are starting small or looking to install a large scale um, energy system, our growers can yeah, design, our growers products can yeah, design to grow with you. So like we mentioned, um, the batteries can be parallels with um, two system, um, two battery system inputs can support like up to 30 kilowatt plus discharge power where it's Unless if you get like 60 kilowatt hour batteries. Yeah. Now next is the straight phase unbalancing function. So here's an example. If we set the export limitation to 3 kilowatt, we can limit the power as long as your load is on. For example, here okay, the washing machine is on for one kilowatt and your your TV, your line always um, is off. Your L1 will generate two kilowatt, one kilowatt to your washing machine, one kilowatt to your to your grid. And your rest of the L2, L3 will just generate one kilowatt each on, on each phase, export to the grid. Yeah, this function would only support mode and mid XH for now. So it can support phase level controlled. Yeah. But the default mode is controlled by some of the straight phase power. Yeah. Um, you will make sure the meter, I mean, the meter is most important because the current, they can detect the current voltage on the side. So make sure that the meter will be installed perfectly. Then it will, you will have the, the right um, 
also controlled by the, the surface unbalancing function. Yeah, for those of you who already have the solar or the energy systems in, in place, we also offer the easy to, to use retrofit solutions. Our inverters and batteries can be integrated into the existing system, allowing you to upgrade your energy compa uh, compatibilities without replacing your entire setup. Yeah, this flexibility yeah, ensures that your, your energy system can get into the new technologies and the future demands. So while still making the most of the investments you already made. Um, in order to apply the mids XH to your exiting systems, you will just use our new six safety meter, which is installed between your previous inverters to our mids inverter between them. So how does it work? It's two meters um, in total in the systems. One is between two inverters and the other one is operate. The first CT meter will tell our mid XH how much generation from the first one and from the panels. And now our inverters can um, charge our batteries from the first uh, first inverter or either from the front grid. Uh, we only can control our growth inverters if the first string inverter is from growth. If the third party um, aspirant from aspirant, we still can work with that, but we can't really control the first inverter. Yeah. But on our Shampoo uh, app or the server, you will see um, two different separately um, data, which is on this. One is the previous output from the first inverter. The second one is our mate. Yeah. So this one will require six centimeter. It's not the three phase meter currently we sell. Yeah, I believe our sales will get this product soon this year. So as long as we got it, now in the future, the mid can also um, do the retrofit with other investors. So one of uh, the key benefits of products is their scalability. Uh, whether you are looking to expand your system with more inverters, batteries, or solar panels, our GrowWatch has made um, incredibly easy to add capacity. So, for example, our mid system supports parallel connections with multiple inverters, um, batteries. This means you can grow your um, grow your setup to meet the demands of a large householder or business without needing to replace existing components. We would suggest mid stage with the batteries if you come with the batteries. The three MID with Shine SEMX, that would be the maximum. So because the batteries would be uh, quite different difficult to control by the, the total, in, uh, total system. So since now the G100 export limitation is more being serious, um, if we want, really want to meet that regulation, so by use, you have to use the Shine SEM, that's first, and um, the monitoring devices, which is called Shine Master, can monitor multiple inverters. So you don't have to worry about that. And surface, uh, surface meter has already built in it. So you will just install it or just connect to your 4A5 cable to the inverters. That would be everything. But if you're using this system without any batteries, so for example, mid XH as a string inverter, work with other max modes, other surface inverter. If no batteries, you can install up to six with SEMX. That can be very easy for the customer using it. So that, that was uh, all the, the battery ready solutions. So since we got mid, uh, it's more it's more it's more powerful. 
but we also have um, the single phase one is quite new for our all-in-one solutions. Yeah, I think I go, yeah, I really explain this system to some of our customers and uh, people saying like that was quite good because the, like I said, the regulation is push people to install products outside. So all in one, if you do have the IP66 and um, good performance, yeah, this will be very good. So yeah, let's take a look at our this all in one energy storage solutions. And uh, we integrated system combine high capacity energy storage with smart energy management and uh, flexible um, installation options. So these system are designed to be scalable with capacity expand up to 40 kilowatt hour and uh, include backup power compa uh, compatibilities up to six kilowatt, ensuring the, the loads are supported during the power outage. So I believe some of you guys know our SPH, the old standard version and new up version, that was like up to four kilowatt. But for now, we got our new OE1 they also call the SPH, SPA from 3 to 6 kilowatt, but now it's being like hybrid UPS backup and AC couple UPS backup, the HUB, AUB. Yeah, the key feature of our all in one solution is including double size the DC AC ratio, uh, flexible expansion capacities, and the smart uh, bypass function for the, for the load. And additionally, it's fully compatible with the third party inverters because this AC couple function, yeah, making it ideal for those looking to upgrade an existing system. And type two AC and the DC SPD side. So um, this would help your your projects would be more powerful to being passed by the local DNO. By using this system, um, our AOP batteries is also like IP66 rated, so ensuring reliability while it's modular design, so allow you um, capacity expansion from five kilowatt hour to forty kilowatt hour. Yeah, with remote firmware updated uh, and the safety system using the lithium batteries, this is the very ideal. Um, solutions for customers who needs reliability and scalability. Yeah, we part we provide um, this all-in-one solution for the new installation and great unstable areas. As integrated a single-phase hybrid inverter with an inbuilt meter and a data logger and um, our Shanfon app for smart energy management can be, yeah, can be monitoring. So what's the particular advantage here is for the UPS function, uh, which replaces the needs for an extra backup box, making this a cost efficient, uh, effective solutions for homes and the business with unstable grid connections. For customers installing a um, new system or upgrading from an old system, this hybrid solution provides a match the flexibility, making it one of the most um, versatile storage system on the market today. Yeah, since we know the, <clears throat> um, the meter will be the the most uh, the the only one um, detector detector can be connected to the grid to meet the 300 regulation. So in the future, all the SPH series inverters that includes the standard version, up version, and this all-in-one, everything will come with a CT meter. So in the future, customer doesn't need to buy extra, but just to make sure if the DNO really required that, they have to install this perfectly. Yeah, now just a city cap. Yeah, same like the Paris 
the systems for those who already have onboard solar system in place. Our AC coupled retrofit solutions also can support that. Um, that way to upgrade without starting from the beginning. This retrofit options is uh, compatible with third party inverters and includes the advanced smart meter with real time monitoring. Yeah, so our so all they need to do for this system doesn't need six centimeter. That's only for the mid uh, three phase system. For the single phase one, we whatever the up version or the only one version, it will just require extra meter between two inverters, and the other CT or meter you need to require you need to install on your grid side. Yeah, with this special phase system, you can easily just convert your on grid setup into a hybrid system, adding energy storage without needs to remove existing components. Yeah. To manage your energy efficiently uh, required data, um, and that's what will grow a smart energy management system coming into play. So using our Shinephone app and um, the server platform, this platform gives users real-time visibility into their energy system, that including solar protection, load consumption, and the energy flow with it. Um, you can monitor your energy usage and make adjustments to maximizing the efficiency. So, I mean, this level of control um, allow users to optimize their energy systems performance, the ensuring cost saving and better self consumption of solar power. Yeah, because we do have of working modes, for example, like the load first modes, the, the battery first modes. So normally people will just leave the load first modes just by using your PV to feed your loads. But sometimes when the price, the electricity price was low, you can just turn on the battery, battery first modes at night and you're charging your batteries with a very low price like that can save your price. Even though like, if you can really sell your electricity to your to your local grid, then you can just turn on the grid first mode to sell your electricity from your panels or from your batteries, everything. They will feed your loads first, by the way. Um, they can sell the rest of your PV power to the grid. So for single system using the whatever surface single phase, you can only you can use the Shine Wi-Fi X or Shine Link X, that depends your, your how far is from your routers and to your, um, the, your, your inverter. So if for a short distance, like 25 meters or less than that, you can just have a Shine Wi-Fi X, that's a data logger, basically plug into your inverters, configured by your Shine Phone app, yeah, and link to your routers. Then once it has been ongoing online, this inverter, all the data you will see from your app or our server. So in the future, as long as you go and problem, just ask our team, then we will just very quick to help you to find the issues. For the longer distance application, for example, like more than like 50 meters or maybe 100 meters, we, we would suggest using the Shine Link. Basically, it comes with a Shine Link box, kind of the booster and to can extend the router to close close to your inverter. There's another called ARP stick, similar with the Shine Wi-Fi, Shine Wi-Fi stick. So you can just plug into it, it will pair by themselves automatically from your uh, booster to your dongle. It will automatically pair them. So you don't have to do a lot of things, just configure to scan your QR code, maybe on the back on, of the LAN box, that would be easier than Shine Wi-Fi. So as long as you go online, so similar like that, you can easily to see all your data from your Shine Phone app and Shine Server. Yeah, one of the most exciting innovation in energy storage is the 
the virtual power plants, the VPP. So um, yeah, our group was systems is fully VPP ready. That means you can share access the energy with your community or even sell it back to the grid. Um, yeah, for the mid, the surface or the mode, the VPP port is on the COM port. There's a, a 45 cable. You have to in, you have to link it to your third party device, or we can share the API function to them. So whether you are installer or the software company, we could you could easily find API um, token from our website and trying to make it into integrated to your to your system. You would be able to see all the system that uh, all the as long as your end users is happy with that, you would be able to have this permission from them. Then you can outpost all the data to your to your software platform. Yeah. So since last couple of weeks, um, many companies just uh, discussed with me about can we have your API token or something. But I mean, as long as your like I said, as long as your customers, your end user is happy with that. Then you can have this permission to do this. So uh, then you can help them to control to um, sell the sell the electricity or just charging it at a very low time, uh, low price. So this technology is really start in Europe and uh, Australia, but yeah, also in the UK, and that is paving the way for greater energy independence at a community level. By access the VPP, you can generate revenue from your energy system while contributing uh, to a more sustainable or energy network. So yeah, um, finally, we will just have some uh, the FAQ session. I'll just answer some of your uh, questions that recently I have been received. So also you at this time you can uh, put your questions or into the into the chat or the question questions box. Then after uh, yeah after we finish everything then we can yeah I will answer I will ask you I will answer your questions. So um, first one when will the new products be available in the UK? Um, so today we talk about three different products. Um, so first, only one system will be available from next year, since we still have the SPH up version, which is selling us since this the end of last year. So we will keep selling it, and then to next year we wish can switch to the uh, the only one system that can be more powerful. Yeah. For the single phase AC EV charger, now it's available in the UK. We provide seven kilowatt for now, but next year we will bring we will bring eleven to twenty two three phase EV charger. Yeah. The battery ready system is <clears throat> also currently available now. However, the main, the modes and mids with their own BMS and APX batteries. Everything is now available. Yeah, if you're quite interested with the stock or the price, please ask your local distributors. They will provide some de more details to you. Yeah. Next one, I have an SPH system. Can I use the new APX high voltage batteries with it? Um, yeah, I mean, I believe um, someone asking this question definitely got an SPH before, so you have been use this system for a while. Uh, but unfortunately now the SPH series, the, the SPH system is a low watch system. But today we talk about main mode mids XH is a high watch system. The key difference is they compatible with different batteries. So um, the SPH can work with the, for example, GBI 6532, that's the low voltage one, and the ALP, our new battery. This is low voltage one, so the connection is different. Also, the BMS is have really built in it. 
so customer doesn't need to buy it. But for a high voltage system, for the APX, for example, they will require additional BMS on top. So because the system all different and uh, they they don't uh, the BMS are, are separate. So you can't, they can't really com, uh, control other batteries if the BMS is is all is different. The voltage will be different. So yeah, please just remember that APX can only works with main modes and mids, and uh, for the main and the mode mids, single phase surface using different BMS. Yeah. Where can I find products information such as like the data sheets, user manual, or certificates? Yeah, so if you want to learn more about our products, that's feel free to go to our GrowWatts website, the en.growwatt.com, uh, and choose the products. Select the products you are looking for, so and scroll down to the end of the page. Yeah, and you will see the downloads. So all these data sheets, user menu, and certificates, everything's on it. But if your local DNO or the your community key ask for the special reports or special certificates, please ask us, our service team. Then we will see if it's possible. We will just send send it directly to you. Right. Okay. So the next one uh, is. How can I get the product's reference number or the G98, 99, G100 test reports? So definitely there's an installer asking this. For uh, I believe you are trying to uh, send the application to your DNO. So you can please go to your contact, uh, connect direct um, MG networks, which is the EMA official uh, website. That's Quite new since they have been updated this year, I believe was in May. They have switched from the old website to a new one. So this now the Connect Connect Director NG Networks. So this one is a new uh, website. Just please go log in to your install accounts, and you will find uh, there's a live live device register on your left side. Just select it and put the manufacturer grow was in it. You will see all the products we list on this, whether G99, 98, all the reports, all the test reports is on it. If you know the specific products you're looking for, for example, SPH, just put the SPH in your filter, which is on your right side. Just put in it, you will see all the SPH, for example, 3 kilowatt, 5 kilowatt, 6 kilowatt, you will see all everything on this. Then when you go into the specific product seeing it, then you are able to download all the data, all the um, test reports which I sub I uploaded last couple of months. So yeah, that can be very easy. So, but I believe now installer will just needs require a reference number. So you don't need to get a real report. So as long as the ENA has been proved, you will just remember this reference. For example, SPH. Uh, six kilowatt UP version. There's um, the special the reference number on your on the top. You will just give this number to the DNO. They will approve that. Okay, and uh, finally, like G hundred export limitation device. Um, so as we know, the export limitation has been more serious. Most of commercial, I would say, commercial projects require this. So uh, please make sure um, install a safety meter or just a meter can meet the G100 uh, regulation. And all these reports, all these evidence you can see from G100 documents or from the G99, the end of the page. Yeah, but mostly it's uh, on the G100. You will see our meters. So on G99, you will see the specific meter name, the model on is on the first page. You will see which the Eastern or the other uh, meter which is meets G100. And for the G100 documents, you will see the home system. How does it work? How does it meet the G100? Yeah, we will, we we have been explained everything on the test report. If you need this, 
just go to the ENA website, download it. Yeah, just have a look. If you still have any questions, that's no problem. Uh, contact our GrowWatch technical support by the, the number, which is OTO 85006618. Call this number wherever you are on site or you just have our questions, quick questions. Call this number. Our service team is always here. Otherwise, you can just email. Sometimes it's quite busy, you know, but if it's not that rush, then you can just email us the service.uk at growworld.com. Yeah, our engineer will help uh, help you uh, from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So anytime during this day, during the day, you can just call us or email us. Also, uh, welcome to join our official GrowWatch Facebook group chat group group. So if you have some idea to share or just want to connect with other installer, yeah, just join the Facebook group. We will post a lot of um, interesting news and the training stuff. Yeah, also for quite technical problem. If you want, if you want to discuss, then just post on us as installer, including our engineers. We will help you. Yeah. So yeah, thank you everyone. Do you have any questions? Let me just have a look. You post anything on this. So it's is anyone got a question? Yeah, if there's no any other questions, yeah, we will finish the presentation. I will finish the webinar today. Thanks everyone. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.